Warning, the Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What it do, creepers and geekers? What you see in front of you, Atari likes to call the video pinball. I like to call it sexy simplicity at its best. Uh, this is the Model C 380. This came out in 1977, and I'm telling you, it's quickly become one of my most favorite items in my collection. This thing is just, it's nostalgic beauty. I, I, can't, I can't even say enough good things about this thing. You know, everyone's got Pong units, and they've got, of course, your cartridge-based systems, but you don't see too many of these out there, and I, I know a lot of you folks know about it, but I figure for my very first actual Atari review, I would do something that was simple, something that was beautiful, and something that was fun as hell. Um, so let's just take a closer look at this bad boy. So what you got here on the top left is you got the little pictograms of each one of the games and it says that there's, you know, that many. But it's really just three games in different variations plus an extra basketball game, so to speak. But you got, you got two versions of pinball and each one of those has a, either a flipper or a paddle version. We'll get into that in a little bit. Down here you have Breakout and break through which is nothing more than just break out without the middle bar and then this right here you got a game called rebound it's kinda like a weird basketball breakout kinda game and I'll explain more about that once we get into the gameplay alright over here we got our control configuration here we got our power button uh, we got options because once you select a game there's multiple options that again we won't get into I'm not gonna try to make this an 80 hour video you get what it is um, I think uh, just showing you a quick version of each game is more than enough. Uh, here's what you use to select the game, and this will reset it or set it to start. This is your ball serve, and it also functions as kind of a, a, a shoot thing here in rebound, kind of like a basketball, shoot it up there. And we'll, Again, we'll get into all that. Uh, over here in its tasteful wood grain glory, it says video pinball very boldly. Um, and then you have a paddle controller right here, which is very similar to the ones for your Atari 2600. Uh, I believe the uh, knob's a little bit bigger than the ones that you get with the, the system, but it's the exact same styling and everything, and it just feels great. Even after all these years, 1977 this thing came out, and this works great. No jitter, no nothing. I didn't have to crack this open and clean it up. On your side here, you have a flipper button here and a flipper button here. And if we flip her over, no pun intended there, folks. Here we base a kind of a Pong setup. You know, you got a battery box here, which I don't recommend using because you do have an optional AC adapter here. And it will use the same exact one that the Atari 2600 uses, so keep that in mind. Um, then you get your, your information, you know, Sunnyvale, California, Atari manufacturer approval TV, blah, 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 blah. Uh, patent numbers, serial numbers, and just a little thing telling you that this thing is so epic it will melt your face if you don't watch how much you play it every day. So, a little bit more about it. You know, again, it came out in 1977. There's three versions of this. Uh, this is the only one I actually have. Uh, let me try and center that so it doesn't wiggle and wabble. Um, there's this one here, then there's a Sears Tele game version, which is pretty much the exact same thing, except here there's like a little grid of the games as well as the pictograms. And here it just says, uh, I believe it says Pinball Breakthrough in classic lowercase Atari font. And then Atari has their other 380. It's all white, and there's like a grill here, and this whole raised area is gone. But these are all the same. Um, but again, it's all white, and there's a grill, and there's a speaker under here. I don't know if there's one under here, if that's just for aesthetics or what have you, but that's it. Now that we've taken a closer look at this bad boy, let's fire it up, and I'll show you some gameplay. All right, guys. All right, let's play some video pinball. First thing you want to do is fire up the TV, make sure it's on channel three. Do that second to come up. Hit power. Oh. There's a lot of glare in there. I am so sorry, guys, but that's the best I can do for right now. Um, maybe if I turn the light off, let's see if that will help a little bit. Not much, but good enough for government work. All right, so basically what we got here, this is your first version of 
flipper pinball. Um, sound comes out of the box, the thing in your hand, the little unit itself, so you want to keep the TV volume down or else you'll hear some hissing and weird noises, electrical buzzes and beeps. So go ahead and turn your TV down, put it on channel 3, set it up just like your Atari 2600 through the coaxial, fire it up and here you are. So it starts off with this very first game here, so let's hit reset, get it ready to go. And when you hit the side buttons, your flippers do that deal. And to get it going, you just hit serve. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is the speaker on mine just doesn't seem to, it seems to be going out. So hopefully you'll get to hear all the nostalgic pong beeps and boops. But uh, this is basically it. It's, it's a video version of pinball. Next game is where it gets pretty interesting. So let's, uh, let's select the next game. This is where you use the paddle, much like break through or break out. Um, I prefer these ones over the original pinball ones on here, simply because it just adds another layer of, I, I don't want to call it challenge, but whatever. But let's uh, serve the ball, get it going. The exact same thing, again, just with the paddle. I don't know exactly how the scoring goes. I don't have any manuals or boxes with it. I just play to see how long I can play for. I don't really care what high score in this game. But okay, that's enough of that. We'll just quickly go through these ones. This is your other version of pinball. Except these ones are with the paddle, obviously. And the ball can get pretty crazy here and there. After you start breaking some of these things away and getting rid of them, um, the ball can start getting a little crazy. So, let's go to the next game. Same exact thing, just with a paddle. Serve the ball, I won't show you too much here because it's the same thing. Again, this one just adds a whole new element to the game. It almost feels like something completely different than pinball. Um, if you're not a fan of pinball, I, I would still recommend this thing. It doesn't feel like pinball at all, to be honest with you, even if you use the flippers. The flipper buttons are pretty much the only thing that reminds me of pinball. Alright, so on to this thing. And this has quickly become one of my favorite games of the whole unit. This one's called Rebound, and it's kind of a basketball game. And let me get it set up. What you got here is you got your, uh, your paddle, okay? And then you get this bad boy right here that you're trying to get the ball to bounce through. And depending on how many go through depends on their score and all that stuff. Um, but it's got some kind of weird gravity thing happening. So if you just use your paddle and let the ball hit it, it just kind of bounce, you know, just like that. Just, hey, how you doing? I'm just going to hang out here. But if you hit the serve button just right, right when it hits it, and it has to be pretty exact, it launches the ball. And I don't know if it's touch sensitive. I can't imagine it would for 1977. But I've noticed sometimes the ball goes a little harder than others. Um, but yeah, let me uh, let me uh, serve the ball here. Give you an idea of what's going on. So I won't touch any buttons. I'll just move the paddle around. And the ball just kind of does its thing. And I guess it gains momentum a little bit. But as soon as you add... Oh, shoot. Um, as soon as you add hitting the... Uh, damn serve button it launches it right up and of course I gotta be acting like a knucklehead here but that's just the way we work here at the creep farm there we go and then what happens is once you get the ball to go through the basket it'll move to the other side and of course now that I'm recording this video I've been playing this thing all afternoon and doing very well I can't get the thing to go in there once. Here we go. Now it doesn't have to go through the very top. Again, there's a different scoring system if it does or if it just goes through the bottom too. But that one's rebound and it's really challenging. If I didn't have to yap through it and have a camera there and all that, um, I, this could keep me entertained all day. Um, so let's move on to the last two games. This is Breakthrough. And again, it's just Breakout without a a line of bricks in the middle, if that's what you want to call them. And once you break through the first line, things start getting a little hectic and crazy. Um, 
But yeah, it's your basic version of breakthrough, breakout. And next, bam, this is actual breakout. Hit serve, ball comes down, bounces around, and it has all the same elements of regular breakout and super breakout. If you move the paddle just right, you can steer the ball if you're really good at that. Um, I could play this game for hours too. So let me just get a little bit more into it here. Now just for fun, I am going to hit the option button. I know I said I wasn't going to, but let's uh, let's reset this back to um, back to this game. We'll just leave it here. We'll hit options. And I don't know if it, if it just makes it a two-player, three-player, four-player, 18-player. Uh, let's let's just have it here. At four. Oh, it just changes the paddle. Here we go. That's interesting. And yeah, I haven't really played with it too much. So let's hit, let's see what number three is on this one. Reset. Oh, same thing. Just less stuff to hit, I guess. I don't know. You be the judge. All right, well, let me turn the sucker off. Flip it around here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little review. I'd have been a lot more enthusiastic if I wasn't feeling well. I got myself a little bit of a cold, but I figured I'd pull this sucker out for my very first actual Atari review because again, you know, this has become one of my favorite uh, toys here in the uh, the collection. And again, I could pick this up anytime, and no matter what, it, it always puts a big smile on my stupid mug. Um, so I hope I convinced you enough to go searching out for these. I wouldn't pay too much for them. Um, I've seen them go for as far as like 40 bucks. I got lucky. I, I discovered it on some website at one point about half a year ago. I've only known about this less than a year, surprising enough. And uh, I decided to look on eBay to see what they go for. Not that I use eBay too often, but I seen a local seller was selling it for $10. Buy it now. I hit it up. I figured that was worth the risk. He couldn't test it. and didn't know how to hook it up. And uh, I brought it home, and sure as hell, it works just fine. This, again, the speaker's a little lower than I think it should be uh, compared to my Pong unit that I got over there. But um, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth, uh, you know, 20, 20, 30 bucks worth of fun. You know, it's not something you're going to sit there and play for hours and hours and hours. But it's worth pulling out once in a while on a good rainy day. So I hope I convinced you that you need one of these in your collection. If you have one, if you have one of the other ones, you know, post a video. Let me see it. I want to see... Uh, We'll see in action, you know it's the exact same thing. Do a do your review. Let me know what you think of it. Um, as always, leave comments down there. Uh, there's also a little thing up there with thumbs up and thumbs down. You know, give your honest opinion. I hope you give me the old thumbs up. But you know, any feedback is good feedback. And um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And um, I got a lot more good things coming up, guys. I got a giveaway coming up. And uh, you know, until the next time, I hope everyone's doing well. And this is the Atari Creep signing off saying, a bye bye